Are you kidding me? The Nasdaq has halted listing of small cap Chinese companies. So what does this mean for HKD and ATXG? Stick around, guys. We're going to talk about it. And don't forget to smash that like button on your way in. And don't forget to share this video on Stock Twitch Top 5 Trending Stocks and or any social media platform you may have. What are you waiting for, guys? Drop down in that description below. Click that Discord link and activate your 7-day free trial and let the games begin. Welcome back to the Making Easy Money YouTube channel, where our main focus and goal is to make. Obi, what is on your head? Oh, you're talking about this thing? Well, this is the Making Easy Money Rob the Rich mask. I know it's getting cold out there, you guys. So get yours while supplies last at makingeasymoney.shop. As you guys can see here, NASDAQ halts IPOs of small Chinese companies as it probes stock rallies and we're talking about atxg and hkd and as you guys can see here nasdaq has put the brakes on initial public offering preparations of at least four small chinese companies while it investigates short-lived stock rallies from such firms following their debuts according to lawyers and bankers who work on such stock launches okay guys and we're talking about hkd and a TG. Also in this article, NASDAQ has halted listing of small cap Chinese companies. And as you guys can see here, HKD made that cut as well as ATXG. And we're going to talk about this situation here in today's video. Guys, as you know, HKD has made a huge jump in price. And we're talking about those numbers that AMC apes wanted to achieve. And HKD did it without the hopes of a short squeeze. And if we take a brief look and check out this week chart, as you can see here, now we're going to go back to the day, guys, because I like to see it on the day. As you guys can see here, HKD ran from its IPO from $12.05 as high as $2,555 in little as 13 dollars days of trading atxg gas atxg on its debut day this thing ran like a wild bull okay low coming in at 12.95 $12.95 with the high ultimately reaching as high as 656 dollars here on its debut day and these two stocks are on the chopping block here this upcoming week so if you're a hkd or a TXG shareholder guys you may want to stick for this whole video because this is going to be very very important moving forward for you guys if we take a brief look and finish reading the article as you guys can see here Nasdaq has started asking the advisors of small Chinese companies and candidates questioning the mid-September the questionings and concerns the identity of their existing shareholders where they reside how much they are investing and if they were offered interest fee debt so they can participate according to one of the bankers so okay and in fact guys a lot of people are saying as though that as you can see here if we read this as a result chinese ipos in the united states have returned this year on average a staggering 426 percent in their first day of trading compared to 68 percent for all the other ipos according from dialogic so basically in a nutshell guys Everything that we all suspected was going on here in these plays are coming to the light. In fact, guys, like a lot of people were saying that these two stocks were basically being pushed by a few individuals over in China, actually buying up majority of the IPO shares. The reason why a lot of us were only able to get four and five shares over on Weeble Um a lot of people were just buying a few people bought up a lot of the IPO shares, guys, ultimately making it seem as though that these shares were in high demand on its IPO debut. Um, and if they're under investigation, do I think it's going to have an effect on the shareholders? Yes. If the companies did also take a part in this um securities fraud type of ordeal but it is crazy how as though that the sec jumps on this as quickly as they did but they haven't did anything about 
the fake shares over an AMC, like a lot of people tend to say, or a lot of these other um, speculative things that people continue to say over there that's going on in AMC and the market manipulation that everyone is saying that is going on in AMC. Why haven't the SEC jumped on that matter as fast as they has jumped on this Chinese thing? Yes. Maybe because it doesn't exist. I want to know your guys' opinion in the comment section below on that topic. Maybe it may find its way into our Calling It How You See It channel, guys. In case you guys do not know about that channel, um, you can check it out with the video tab link above. Or you can check out those videos at the end of this one. So with that being said, guys, may the gangs be with you.